I got it queued up somewhere. All right, so we're back here after our great matchup between Andromeda and Wildplay. Uh, we saw that win in Andromeda's favor. Uh, they did win it, I believe, 8-3. to uh, Now we're seeing Andromeda versus Performance after Performance has performed a surprisingly, uh, surprisingly upsetting match against Heat. Uh, they did beat them 9-6, to so now they've advanced. This is the loser bracket finals, I believe. And now they're playing uh, Andromeda to see who gets to play Def... Uh, wait, I think it's the semifinals, actually. Uh, yeah, the semifinals. So we get to see who's going to move on, play Rival, uh, and then the winner of that will go on to play DEFCON. So, uh, without further ado, here is Alan Tilt D'Onofrio to give you <laughs> the lineup. As yeah, so we see Andromeda just, just a minute ago, and they played really, really strongly. Myth, obviously doing a really good job with that scope, as he's already readied up with that scope again. Surreal, Will Smith, Five, Gravity, and Kimple will round out that lineup. And it uh, looks like Cannon is actually going to be the map, as of right now at least. I'm not sure if they've gone through the banning process or not, but it looks like that's going to be the map for right now. And that's the, again, that's the Andromeda team. And then on the flip side, for performance, we were actually just talking about this team and how they're really fun to watch. I'm really glad they got the upset, so I got a chance to see them live in action. Uh, but running through their lineup, we have uh, Premium FT, Roxanne, Curls, Premium SD, and then Rob Hanna. And as we were talking about, we, Roxanne is just one of those names that, I mean, the first thing I thought of, and I just said it and I didn't realize that uh, Obsolete had already said it, but it really reminds me of the song from The Police, that's the first thing I hear in my head. So, I mean, to give him a little bit of introduction, we're just going to go ahead and play that song real quick, just because, you know, that's a, it's a great song. And I feel like we should just have this going every time he gets a kill or something, we're watching him, just because, you know, it's just so epic. Uh, there's my text message queue, so, hey, look at that. Alright, well, thank you for that. Uh, really makes my day to hear music on this. Uh, and it's going to be canon, we're starting it up here. The EU team is performance, and that NRF team is Andromeda. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, Andromeda, as we saw on Black Scent, they're already pretty used to playing a quick map. Um, and they did really, really good uh, against uh, Wild Play. As, I mean, Wild Play was playing both sides of that map very conservatively. Um, but I think it'll be a little bit different play from performance here, as they uh, have been playing both Black Scent and this map a bunch, from what I hear. It looks like off the bat, it looks like that performance is going to rush with Roxanne up front with that scope. It's going to rush right over to one side. They actually leave the bomb behind. Um, Curdles with a great cross shot there across the middle to get Myth. As it looks like the push is going to come into one right now. It is stacked up pretty good for uh, Andromeda here. Yep, and uh, they've already lost two members. Curdles got that great pick on Myth. Uh, Myth missed two of his shots. Rob moves in, takes out Gravity. Four on two now. Will Smith forced to rotate around. Rob gets a double Varesk headshot. Four on one for performance now. Surreal is up against the wall. Coming in. It is smoked. He will take a lot of bullets. Giving back as good as he gets, though, gets SD, but he will get put down by Curls. That's just an overall great push by performance. And uh, they had their scope up front watching the long crosses. They had Rob Canna with that for us. That's fast SMG pushing right up the middle and got two kills there. It's exactly what you want to see out of a player who plays with the SMG. And it looks like they're going to flip flop this strategy completely and just push right up to two. As uh, Myth is right there. Good quick shot right there on Rob Hanna. That's going to slow down that push natural now that, that SMG is down. It looks like performance uh, is going to back up a little bit here. Actually, no, they're just going to go out on the back side of the staircase here as Curls with a double headshot, double kill right there on Myth and Surreal inside of two. That bomb's going to get down real quick. Nade's coming in right now, though, from Andromeda, trying to get back into this bomb site. Uh, they just have a really good lockdown in this site right now. Nades, nades, nades all over the place, and they're going to try and get back in, but they were delayed. Uh, Gravity gets a kill on there. Kimpa moves in, helps him out. Two on two now. 1v1 now. Kimpa trying to move in, take out Curls. 
Look at this funny play here from Curls. Completely dancing around the bomb. Uh, he don't think he had it enough time, though, as Kimpa does end up clutching it out for his team. But uh, really interesting play there. Good smokes overall there to get back into that bomb site and cause a little bit of chaos. Uh, Kimpa going huge right now. 5-1 and one for his team. Just kind of cleaning up after uh, bomb sites get taken for right now, at least. Uh, I think he had three kills that round, which is good for him on the rotate as he was playing inside of one. It looks like they're going to kind of switch up this defense here as Kimpa's going to play closer to the middle. Myth playing from the two side uh, alley there, and it looks like the offense as well is going to completely split up as Roxanne and Rob Hanna going to try for that one push. Curl's going to try to get that pick on Myth again over the middle. Uh, lights him up pretty good there, though, as he's sitting right around. Let me try to find him here. Uh, he didn't lose that much health, actually. It looked like it was a lot more than what he actually did, but sitting around three quarters HP or so. Yeah, we do see that C4 moving uh, those two premiums. Uh, working together like they did on Black Scent when we saw them before. Uh, moving up together. It's trying to sneak into two while the rest of their team pushes one. Hopefully baiting the rotate and it does work. There are four members um, near one away from any of the real action with that C4 over there. Uh, all they have to do is take down Surreal to get into that bomb site easily. Myth gets baited into the stairs rotate there. They're moving farther away from the real objective but uh, performance isn't actually pushing quite yet. And that could prove to be their undoing here. Uh, they did manage to fool Andromeda, for, but not not for an infinite amount of time here. You know, you got to wonder. I mean, this they tried to pull the slow, uh, the fake and push. And you got to wonder at what risk did they actually do it. Because you got Curls and Rob Hanna sitting at a fraction of HP. You could sneeze on either of them. They'll probably die from the flu. Um, the only player with actual health right now is FT. And he's actually rotating back over towards one where there's a lot of traded gunfire. Um, but I don't really know if that's really going to be a, a really good move right here. They're a little slow. The premium's moving into two. They had a really good chance there. They're both sitting at full HP, and Surreal is the only one left playing pretty forward, actually. And now that Myth is over there helping him out, I mean, we got a really big situation here for Andromeda. Five on two, uh, almost about 30 seconds left. Make that a five on one, so it's going to have to be an ace clutch from FT in order to get this round. But here comes Andromeda, just completely surrounding him. Um... I know it's not looking good right here. He's about to get crossfire here as Will Smith does actually take him out with the help of Surreal and the assist there. So now 2-1 to one in favor of Andromeda playing that defensive side again. Uh, doing pretty well right there, especially in that last round. Uh, playing more of a balanced defense, not getting fooled by any late rushes or anything like that. And it looks like uh, Performance taking, uh, just going back to the first round, just kind of doing a push over here at 1. Definitely I think that last round was uh, Performance's mistake rather than Andromeda's good play. Uh, performance should have rushed their bomb on that sneak. They would have been able to take over the site um, with minimal help, and uh, they could have had a chance at that round, but they didn't, and they lo they paid big for it. You know, I think what the biggest X factor here right now is Roxanne sitting at 0-3 with that scope. Uh, now make that 0-4 as Kim and Will Smith are doing some good work over here at 1, holding down the bomb site. Yeah, it's good work right there. I mean, Gravity helping out, getting two kills right there. That's just textbook defense right there from Andromeda. I mean, they had three or two, three players playing over there at one. I mean, even if, even the fact that two of them did go down, they got a number of shots on them, the rest of the people attacking that one site, making it now. Two-on-one situation. Curls has one kill under his belt for this round. Uh, he's full HP, too, which is good for him right now. Surreal and Gravity. Uh, Surreal's full. Gravity's sitting a little bit more than half HP, so got off some work ahead of him. Gravity does have the bomb right in front of him here. Uh, at bomb site one, so Surreal's going to pull in the corner. They're going to try to play a little bit of a cross peak here as Curls is going to try to make his way back into this bomb site. Yep, uh, they've lost so many people this round, and performance just has been stonewalled at one so far. Uh, two has been their most successful place, but they keep trying to go to one. Uh, Curls getting huge, getting those early side picks off on Andromeda, but not with the main group on the actual pushes. Gravity puts him down there. Um, but the rest of his team not being very successful on those pushes, and you're right, Roxanne on the scope, not getting enough of those quick, uh, quick clutch, round-saving sort of early picks that put the defense on the um, on their back feet there. 
Just and here we go again. They're just taking the same exact strategy, just pushing around too. Actually, SD is making his way into the box site. Surreal does hold them off, and the rest of the team is lagging behind. Now, Myth is going to have that corner. Actually, Roxanne does get the pick on Myth, so that's pretty huge right there. It's a big pick right there for Roxanne. Uh, Gravity and Kemper are going to be late to get up these backstairs. Will Smith lagging way behind all the way from one. Bomb is now down. Kemper and Gravity taking a bunch of nade frag. Um, actually, Will Smith getting a good over nade right there on Roxanne. So, the scope being down now, but Rob Hanna, I like the way he's playing right here. Look at this. It's going to be really Really big for his team coming back with his Vanessa getting looks like both Will Smith and Gravity. This really smart play there. I love seeing that the SMG using that flanking power as he usually does. Rob Hanna going really big there to save that round from even being contested. Now uh, three to two as far as the score goes, and Drama still ahead, but Performance still looking to give him a fight right here. They liked how their two turned out there. They're going to try it again. This time not move so quickly, uh, leaving the bomb. Baiting the early rotate from Gravity, actually, so now it's pretty much two stacks for Andromeda. Um, they're going to smoke it, wait for it to deploy. I would say they're probably going to push after this, but the bomb is not hot on their heels. And from what I've seen of Andromeda, uh, they got to get that bomb in there quickly in order to hold Andromeda away. You know, another thing that I like to see right now, I've been watching Roxanne, because he's sitting over the middle here, uh, watching to see if anyone crosses through the, the side middle corridors, and no one's moving there. So that's just really good play there from Andromeda, not crossing into open territory there. Um, really strong smokes right here, too, from both the premiums, laying those down, and still not pushing, which is good, because we know Myth can pick through that smoke as hacker as it looks. Uh, he just does it constantly. Um, so now those smokes are worn out, making it an easier shot for Myth, and it looks like they're just going to keep focusing, too, here, um, not having anyone playing over the middle. It looks like Roxanne's going to move up a little bit, try to get an early pick um, across the back side of the bomb site. As he actually does misses the shot on it, that's pretty huge. He had the first shot there and completely beefed it. Uh, it's going to be a huge turnaround for this. How this push goes as now surreal pushing down, getting two kills, make that three kills. He's going to go it's for surreal. It. How gets about that it? Quad kill. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You know, the great thing about that was, though all of those kills were in two to three shot bursts. I mean, I'm going to focus Surreal here as we keep talking about him. He's been doing a great job over at two, and I mean, with that para, he's just holding on the backside of two with no contest. I mean, he's throwing himself some really good nades to get out of position, or get the offense out of position so he can work around a little bit more in those corners, but I mean, those two to three shot bursts just completely wreck through a lot of really healthy, uh, <laughs> I mean, a, really, a lot of really healthy players there. Um, so, I mean, we'll see what happens, but, I mean, Surreal doing a good job, as one is actually completely overhauled here by performance. Uh, I mean, Surreal's going to have to help himself out here again with Kimpa, as it is a 5-on-2. That one defense that we saw was so strong uh, from Andromeda before not doing a very good job here. Surreal alone on 5 now. Uh, he will get killed. Missed a couple shots on... Uh, on FT in that corridor connector, uh, d you're right, the defense at one did get overwhelmed. They were probably expecting another two push. Uh, it looks like they need to wake up a tad bit. Yeah, I think that was probably the case. I mean, Kemp and Gravity working their way inside and around one. Will Smith was sitting around their spawn that round, and he had the late cross there. Uh, so it just kind of left them all out to dry there. As it now looks like Kemp is going to radio to his team that it looks like the push is going too, guys. He's moving his way all the way back through spawn. Uh, Surreal getting an early nade, but actually getting traded there. As uh, a lot of trading back and forth with nades right now. Um, and this is going to be huge for Kempa as he's on the backside around everyone getting two kills, two headshots. Curl's the last one left. Really good flank there for Kempa. Yeah, Kempa did uh, completely off balance him. They may have had a chance to stave off the rush from Surreal and Gravity up there, but Kempa threw him off their heels, uh, definitely setting up that easy cleanup for the rest of his team. You know, that's a strategy that I always like to see every now and again, not every time. Kimpa has been playing pretty passively inside of one, as there's a nice easy double kill there for Andromeda off the bat. Uh, but Kimpa taking his options there and knowing he's got a lot of help over the top there with Gravity, he's going to push his way all the way back through the one side and get that flank. It's really smart take by him, having the complete map control. Um, as it looked like it's going to be another situation here. Surreal is actually moving his way up the back, as Rob Hanna and Premium LT are the last ones left. FT, sorry. And that's the halftime, 6-3 to three for Andromeda. Uh, this time, instead of uh, instead of Kimpa pushing up from one, it was Surreal manhandling two, coming out, catching someone unawares at the generator, uh, just mixing it up, throwing them completely off their game on offense. 6-3, uh, to three, 
uh, for Andromeda on the defense. We'll see how they come up at offense, and we're going to go to com a commercial here for a minute, and we'll see you guys back in a few minutes. All right, welcome back to that quick commercial break. Teams have switched sides here. Again, that last half was 6-3 in favor of Andromeda. They will be on offense this time, um, and we'll see exactly how uh, Performance decides to switch it up and play their defense. Um, Rob Hanna did a really good job with that SMG playing pretty aggressively with the help of Roxanne with that sniper rifle, um, although Roxanne did finish just under even, I think, on his uh, SD there. Um, nothing to be ashamed of at all, especially playing against a really good team uh, as such as Andromeda, especially playing on offense. Um, but as we saw, Surreal having some huge rounds there over at 2, and then obviously all the teamwork there uh, over at 1 with Kimpa Gravity and Will Smith. Just great holds on 1. Uh, so it was interesting to see how they decide to switch it up here, how Performance decides to play defense, and how uh, Andromeda decides to play this offensive side on uh, Cannon here, as we are again in the loser bracket semifinals matchup. And uh, we'll, one more commercial here, and we'll be back to go again right now with the second half. All right, we're back, and we just did see Andromeda win 6-3. to three. Uh, as, as Tilt said, Roxanne coming back, but still not being able to do quite as much, uh, missing one, a couple of those clutch shots. And we did see Surreal and Kimpa using really good flanks, uh, really pressuring play to set performance off their game. Uh, we're going to see how they're going to play the offensive here, as they usually will get to dictate the pace of the game. Uh, Andromeda having used those those interesting two pushes or one pushes to really try to steal the pace of the game from what is usually the offense's job and uh, did a really good job with that and they only have to win uh, I believe four rounds for uh, to go on to the losers bracket finals with rival. Yeah, four rounds will be the magic number here for Andromeda. Uh, definitely having a little bit more work cut out for them against this performance team than they did against Wild Play. Um, and, you know, speaking of, a lot of people like to relate this map to Black Scent. It's all about how you push and how you move. But, I mean, this map has a totally different dynamic to it when you consider how quickly you can rotate between sites and how covered those uh, rotates can be, especially when you're on defense. So, I mean, I think a lot of teams overlook that fact that, I mean, there's so many options as far as the defense goes, as far as rotating, especially when you see people like Surreal and uh, Kimpa when they pulled both of those late flanks in the last two rounds there. Uh, I mean, that's just huge just knowledge of the game right there. Knowing the fact that you're going to be completely trapped up, uh, if you're the offensive team, you're going to be completely trapped up in one of two rooms, and that flank is just an open, just pretty much an open shooting yard for you. Um, it's just good game sense there. I'm sure the communication going on inside of uh, Andromeda's event or Mumble is just on top of their, like, just all the way on top of it. Um, just I know all those players are really, really well uh, knowledge when the game comes around and stuff, and I know they're really good at covering each other when they do moves like that, especially. Um, performance is probably a little bit frustrated, but, you know, anything can happen on defense, and this map can go either way, really. Uh, we've seen DEFCON struggle on this map before in previous CGOs, and then come back and completely dominate this map at the same time. So, you never know exactly what will happen, but we'll get this map coming out to you here very shortly. Uh, switching halves, uh, 
Dramat is going to be on the offensive, performance on the defensive. Uh, looks like they're readying up. I heard something about Will Smith's uh, heater exploding. Let's hope he's okay. We all know uh, how those heater injuries can go. Yeah, you don't want to get burned, you know what I mean? All right, looks like uh, finally we were getting underway. Uh, Kimpa delaying a little bit, and here we go. All i got to say really right now is uh, looking forward to Roxanne really playing well. I really want to play this song more. It's pretty much the only reason. <laughs> Is 10 seconds the Magic Sue cutoff number? <laughs> Alright. All right. See what kind of defense they pull off the bat here. It looks like Rob Hannon will stick with that SMG, um, and Roxanne will actually accompany him over there with uh, Curls, who has been playing really well. Nice early pick there from Roxanne on mid. That's a huge pick to completely change the dynamic of the round, as we said before. Um, Rob Hanna definitely crossing off. There's a good kill there on Will Smith 5 as well. So this one defense with the SMG and sniper play is doing really well right now, apparently, against this Andromeda team, who is uh, just a little bit more reserved now, being down 5-3. to three. Gravity picking up the FRF2 there, getting a pick on Roxanne. So again, looks like the sniper advantage will now go back in favor of Andromeda. I know I said this last game, but I mean, when you look at that Andromeda team, they have three very capable scopes with Gravity and Kempa playing assault rifles um, next to Myth here. Um, but, I mean, the fact that they had the versatility to just pick up a scope and do just as well as Myth um, is definitely a big factor when you consider the dynamic of this whole team. Yeah, definitely. I mean, in previous CGOs, we saw gravity scoping, and now it's Myth uh, definitely shaking up, proving that they don't care who the scope is. Uh, they can pretty much boss through boss through a lot of teams, boss through most teams, uh, whoever their scope is. And here's gravity again, now picking back up to an assault rifle. So look for a push here coming on one. Uh, some pre-fire going into the bomb site. as there's a really good nade there from SD over the middle from his spawn. Uh, that will cause the bomb to go down. Um, and now a four-on-two situation, uh, actually in favor of performance, doing a really good job of not getting too aggressive and really passively holding off uh, that push over there at one. Gravity gets a pick from the 556 into the site, lights Rob Hanna up. Surreal has actually picked up the FR now. Gravity picking up Will Smith's 556, killed two players with it, made it two on two now. Gravity has uh, full health actually, and he will move, walk around the corner right into Rob Hanna's Varesk. Rob Hanna is very lit. Surreal is trying to gonna try to move in here. The entire every all three people are like one shot. Uh, easily one shot. Rob did a really good job playing right there, playing that little trick corner, having the gunfire advantage uh, over, and then doing a good job of rotating out and around the bomb site to catch Surreal a little bit unknowingly where Rob Hanna had gone to. So good play there from Rob Hanna, playing passively with the SMG. You don't see a lot of that. A lot of people with that SMG like to get way too aggressive. Uh, Rob Hanna not such, as he's going to play really passively there, get up two really big kills. It looks like actually Gravity now has picked up the Veracic, and as well as Kim, actually, so two SMGs coming out as they're pushing Roxanne. He will get caught in double gunfire there from Surreal as well. So pushing all over the map here. Gravity with another kill. It looks like it's going to be a just an overall push across the entire map here. Uh, two seems to be the focus, but actually both premiums doing a good job of holding the bomb site down right now. Uh, as it looks like Gravity is going to be a little bit late on that cross. He's looking for a rotate, not realizing that both premium players were inside of two. Uh, after all of that, left with a three-on-one situation. FT by himself now. And here comes some nades across, trying to get him out of place. Um, see how he decides to pull this. Really, really good play right there. I want to spotlight this. Uh, Kimpa heard that call out, um, and then uh, I believe it was uh, Gravity fired some shots, uh, made FT move out of position just slightly so Kimpa could just walk right into the bomb site and flank him. Really, really uh, concerted play right there. Good synchronized movement, and that's what we love to see out of these competitive teams. Yeah, a quick one rush here. Four on three now, and they do have control of one, though Bomb is behind with Myth. 
Wow, Kippa just going absolutely big, running around, not having any fear at all, pushing him right into the spawn, trying to hold down that staircase. It actually gives Surreal a really good spot here on FT, sitting right up top here. Um, oh, actually, FT getting the gunfire right there on Surreal, getting that quick pick there. Myth with the scope, gravity with the SMG, holding down bomb site one for Andromeda. As FT sitting right around half HP, is going to walk right across, actually, right across from Myth. Oh, Myth with a good quick shot right there, though, showing why he is the starting scope for this Andromeda team. Man, great scope there, and uh, most players would have backed off, uh, waited for him to come around the corner. Myth just took it to him, and I'm sure he was not expecting that. Really good play by Myth there. Yeah, and Myth is one of those scopes I love to watch, just because he just says, doesn't have any fear about what he's doing. He's confident enough in his shot, where he can just run right up to a bomb site like he's doing right now into one, and just, just uses his sniper rifle as an assault rifle. He's that confident hitting on his first shot, uh, with shaking screen and all from other nades, as Roxanne actually says, hey, uh, no thanks, I'll actually just sit here and knock your shit out. So, uh, <laughs> it's going to be interesting to push around here, as it does actually ends up in a 3 on 1 situation. Gravity and Kimpy running in with those SMGs, uh, doing a lot of work around the middle there. Will Smith can't quite decide where to go with the C4. He knows Premium is, uh, or excuse me, FT is working his way around to one, but he doesn't quite know that. He saw him in spawn. Uh, he, sh he could go two right now. Doesn't quite know where FT is sitting. Uh, as soon as Gravity runs into him here, and that was just a bad timer right there. FT was looking right at the corner where Gravity was and just completely missed seeing him by a fraction of a second. And that'll result in Gravity coming back and catching uh, FT with his pants down a little bit there over a one. I mean, not much you can do there not knowing where either player really was as Will Smith was actually walking the bomb over to two sides. So, good play there. Going to buy a drama. They need one more round here in order to take this in both the loser bracket finals. But, I mean, performance looks pretty good so far. I mean, I think the weakest part of their team right now is just, they're just inconsistency. Is just among their players. Roxanne has pulled a lot of really great shots, but other times he's missed a lot of easy ones at the same time. As it looks like we'll see a test right here as Roxanne and Myth will go at it. Looks like Roxanne will win that battle. So, I mean, uh, good spot here. Four on three, or four on four situation, rather. Um, but there is nobody in one for performance as uh, Andromeda is completely stacked in. Bomb is going down, um, and they're going to have a lot of work to do coming back across and rotating into one bomb site. And yeah, definitely they baited the rotate out completely with Myth rushing in, getting some kills, and uh, Surreal out there baiting it over to two, and Surreal gets another kill on the rotate from performance, and picks are going fast and furious through those smokes. Sur it looks like Andromeda is getting the better of it, but SD comes around from behind, gets a double kill, but it isn't quite enough, and that's the game for Andromeda, 10-4. Uh, to four. I mean, not to be completely unnoted, though, Parmas did have a really pretty good game. I think uh, as a younger team, a team that no one really expected to go as far as they did, making it all the way to the semifinals, loser bracket, um, upsetting Heat, I mean, they played well. I mean, there's just some inconsistencies just individually. I think overall as a team uh, makeup, they actually did pretty well. Um, moving around the map really well on offense, pushing and rotating through, um, and then on defense also having some pretty good moments where they're holding off bomb sites. I think it's just a little bit inconsistency it's just an individual's overall that kind of cost them that match there. Yep, and I think that's nothing that a little just a little bit more practice and experience couldn't solve. So uh, thank you for showing up, performance. Uh, we loved watching you, and we can't wait to see you in the next ones. And now we're going to soon, I say about 10, 15 minutes, we're going to get those uh, losers bracket finals out to you guys. That is Andromeda, the winner of this match, versus Rival, who recently got knocked out of the winner's bracket by DEFCON. So this is for third place, Andromeda versus Rival, and we'll get that out to you real soon. Uh